we're going to be treated to a gorgeous day for baseball on the show. It's the New York Yankees squaring off against their hated rivals, the Boston Red Sox. First pitch coming your way next. So, almost ready to get underway. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Nathan Evaldi. Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. And he deals. Anthony Rizzo swings through one there. First pitch, one o'clock. A one down. Swings through that one for strike two. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. The 0-2. And that one fouled off. Ground ball right side. Story sends it over to first. One up, one down. It's Aaron Judge now. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. The wind and the pitch. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Next offering misses, and now 2-0. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Next offering is in for a strike. One down, base is empty. Comes up empty, that's strike two. For Judge, he's really developed into more than just a power hitter. He covers the plate well, shows impressive awareness of the strike zone to boot. That's critical, very important. If you want to be one of the best to ever play, it can't be all about hitting home runs. You have to have plank discipline as well. Toughest pitch to hit, fastball on the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. And now it's Joey Gallo. Ivaldi back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Swing and a miss. And the count one and one. He's looking pretty sharp to start the ball game. He's got that good fastball working early. The one one is cut on and missed to the pitch upstairs. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. That's the third out. One, two, three, go the Yankees. Yanks nothing. Red Sox coming to back. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Today's starting pitcher, Garrett Cole. What do you got on him, Chris? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. We go to the bottom of the first. Here's Kike Hernandez. For the Red Sox. And here it comes. The center fielder, number five. That one missed. I love that Garrett Cole is sort of a throwback guy out there on the mound, sort of that classic power pitcher. He's going to attack with that fastball, move it all around the edges of the zone. And when he has to, fill up the strike zone with confidence that hitters can't touch it. 1-1 one, one now. Good eye right there. Cole, of course, the first overall pick by the Pirates in the 2011 draft out of UCLA. 
and really blossomed as he moved from Pittsburgh to Houston in 2018. And a pitch. And down on strikes and one out now. And here is Devers. Here comes a pitch. He's one of the two pitchers to strike out 14 batters in three consecutive games. Pedro Martinez was the other to do it, but Garrett Cole, again, just a dominant pitcher that wants to finish what he starts. The punch out there. That's his second strikeout. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you've got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. I'm going to do me, that's all I know. We pass and I hope I can't stand my emotions. I'm trying to stay golden. Now here's Sander Bogarts now. And the first oh, offering is not close. The pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one. When you look at Sander, he has all the tools to anchor a World Series lineup. Yeah, he's one of those rare talents. He's got power at the plate, discipline to go along with it. Oh, and if he gets on, he's got the speed. This guy's a great combo, and he's an RBI machine. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Two down, nobody on. Tapped out in front of the plate. Throws to first. Bogart's retired. Third out, and that ends the frame. Down in order, go the Red Sox. We played an inning. No score. Back here in Boston, John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Stanton, a guy capable of hitting it a long way. Well, you can tell how comfortable he is. Look at that front foot on the line as he is close to the plate but he can be very quick to a pitch that is down and in. As a veteran out there on the ball, you're trying to establish both edges of the plate. Right here, he's working inside. Next offering upstairs. He's a guy that's changed his stance over time. It's been a little more open, straight up, and now more closed. One thing hitters will do, it's not so much about the stance, but it's what it does to the brain in terms of resetting and how they approach the pitcher. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Next pitch inside, and a full count now. Righty delivers. Rolled over to third. Can't field it cleanly. But the throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first out. Now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. That one hammered left field. That's back there. Banks off the wall. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. He absolutely ripped that ball out front and almost got it out of here, man. Just a really strong balance swing and a fraction of an inch different on the bat, and it is probably out of here. Here is the young phenom, Glaber Torres. And a pitch. 
And there's a strike. Looking at Torres, have to say he's one of the most impressive young players I've seen in recent years. Well, no question about it. His future is very bright. The city, the organization, both are excited about him. He has a lot to look forward to. That one hit to right. Bradley makes the play out number two. Aaron Hicks at the plate. Aaron Hicks. The pitch. That's in there. That's strike one. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand. Looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. Yeah, the right-hander deals. No, he's really working him away, this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Next offering is downstairs. Left-hand batter waits. Got him looking. And that is that. The Yanks lead one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom half of inning number two. And stepping in for Boston, J.D. Martinez. Both you and I know how much attention to detail that J.D. Martinez pays. Kind of makes me think of Albert Pujols, who has been called the machine at times during his career. I'd venture to say you could put J.D. Martinez in that same category, at least the way he approaches his craft. First offering misses the mark. Got some cut action to it. Velocity pretty good on that slider. So far, moving the ball around nicely. And it's fouled away. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hands, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it. Next offering is in for a strike. For J.D. Martinez, his teammate, when they won it all in 2018, Ian Kinsler called him the mad scientist. So maybe the machine and the mad scientist. Here's Trevor Story. The second base. Pitch. Rips that one center field. Picks. Settles under it and makes the catch. Two down. Here's Alex Verdugo. He's a guy, Chris, whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. The pitch. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. The wind of the pitch. Ground ball, left side. Tosses the first, and Verdugo is set down. Third out. Red Sox go down one, two, three. We'll move to the third with no score. And welcome back. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. Leading off of the ankle. The shortstop. Isaiah. The wide to kick the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Next one is off the play. One and one. Strike two. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Could get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because...
And now, Ben Wurtvet. And first offering is fouled off. Next pitch misses, and the count is one and one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Top of the third, no score. Next offering in the dirt, three and two now. Left hand hitter waits. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Stays alive. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these guys are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. And a pitch. Rizzo at the plate and takes high there. In the air, left field, Verdugo turns to the right on the move. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. Down in order, go to Yankees. And we are still scoreless. Set for the bottom of the third, and now the first baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. Leading off for the Red Sox. The first baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. And the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. And that one fouled off. And now one and two. One and two. Got him. One gone, bottom of the third inning. But that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Christian, Christian Vasquez, the hitter. Vasquez. And that one fouled off. Kicks and fires. At the ball. One That's ripped. Base hit. High bounce over the fence for an automatic double. That was loud contact and a no doubt double oh off the bat. I didn't know it was going to land in the bullpen, though. And he's really improving his accuracy out there. It's almost like he tried to do it. At the play, Jackie Bradley Jr. Jackie Bradley Jr., there's some swing and miss, but he's got some pop as well. The best example of a streaky hitter. When he gets hot, team can jump on his back because he will carry him for a while. Vasquez, the runner at second with one away. Swing and a miss. Really consistent release point. He's been able to pitch up and down and have excellent command at both locations. That one pulled foul. Bradley waits. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And two away now. 
I got to think that was the plan all the way. He no set bad. him up with the high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Next to hit, Enrique Hernandez. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Line drive. And there's a hit. And they hold the runner at third base as they decide not to risk the send with two away. Well, that's a smart decision to hold up with one out and the heart of the order coming up. Don't want to run into an out at home plate. Raphael Devers up to hit. Devers, the baby-faced assassin. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The next offering misses, and it's 2-0. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Next one misses. Three balls, no strikes. And time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game, so they'll talk it over. In the air to left center, Hicks drops steps, heads back on it. Great effort as he's able to haul it in, and that's the inning. Boston strands a pair, still no score. Back here at the ballpark, start of the fourth, Aaron Judge at the plate. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. First pitch, and he just misses. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch. There comes an 0-2 to Judge. Hit hard on the ground is short. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. No, he's safe. Pretty much gifted a leadoff base runner right there. And as an offense, this is where you really want to take advantage. Apply some pressure this inning. Make that error hurt. Here's Joey Gallo. Got to be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. Ivaldi back to work. Way high. Next offering is in for a strike. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left handers like the ball down and in. Next offering misses. The count now two and two. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next pitch misses. And it's a full count. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. And a swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. And here it comes. He swings and misses at the first pitch, 
0-1. Giancarlo Stanton, certainly a physical presence. And Chris, one of the more imposing guys at the plate in the entire sport. He's a force, and I think it's scary for pitchers thinking about making a mistake to him because you know you're not going to get that baseball back. He hits the ball so hard, you don't even have to watch him swing. You can just close your eyes and listen and know exactly who it is that hit the ball. That misses the zone, and the count one and two. The one two in the air right center field this is demolished way back and gone John Carlos Stanton goes deep and they throw a pair on the board it's two nothing A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Base is empty one away. Stepping in the long ball now threat, back. Josh Donaldson. Josh. That one fouled off. What about the fans at Fenway? Would they let you have it from time to time? They're definitely intelligent baseball fans, which is awesome. They're not waiting for something to happen. They can smell a big inning or anticipate a situation setting itself up. Ball to strike. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's carrying. Bangs off the wall. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. One gone runner at first. Glaber Torres up to the plate. Here comes a pitch. And a good eye there. One thing I found that was very cool was making a great play to end the inning and running off the field and getting a standing ovation, even at times when you're not a player on their team. As long as you're not winning, they will celebrate and applaud a great play on the field. These fans here, they love and respect baseball. Here's a 1-1. One -one. In the dirt, and it's 2-1. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory get yourself into scoring position Donaldson stands at first with one out next pitch misses inside and now three and two righty to the plate Got him looking. Picks up strikeout number seven. Now here's Aaron Hicks. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Aaron Hicks. And a pitch. Slow roller to first. Dahlbeck steps on the bag. And that is the third out of the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. And it's two zip. Back here at Fenway Park, John Chavi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Xander Bogarts. The wind of the pitch. That's inside. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. That's the third. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. And he'll be safe at first. Now that the designated hitter, J.D. And Martinez. Martinez. 
talking about Martinez, he's one of the best fastball hitters in the game. Yeah, some guys are concerned about. In the air, right field. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. Well, this tends to happen more often in this park than others, and that short fence is just so inviting for hitters. You see a lot of balls bounce over for an automatic double when no one can run it down. Trevor Story comes up to the plate, and a pitch. There's a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. He was looking to come up with the shutdown inning and off to a shaky start. The 1-1 is cut on and missed at a pitch upstairs. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. One away. Well, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. Here's the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. And the right hater back to work. There's a strike. All ones account. There's a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. At the belt and fires. And ball one. Bogarts at third. Martinez over at second with one down. Base hit, one run in already. Throw comes in and holds the runner at third. They're at the corners now with still only one away. Here's Bobby Dahlbeck. The right-hander back to work. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Strike three, got him swinging. Huge strikeout there. Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the offensive side of the game, right? I mean, missed opportunity to tie it up with the runner at third and one out. Couldn't put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good teams, they go to. They operate on this level of next man up. That mentality is what causes them to win series, get into the postseason. That helps keep the energy. Base hit and a run into score. Big RBI for him right there. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Jackie Bradley Jr. a chance to hit. The pitch. And downstairs. First and second, two down. Swing and a miss, and the count one and two. Next offering is way upstairs. Next offering is fouled back. Two on, two outs. Swing and a miss. That's the inning. We played four. We are tied 2-2. Two -two.
And we're back here at Fenway Park. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's the shortstop at the play. Isaiah Kiner Falefa. The pitch. That one misses. One and oh. And the righty deals. That's outside, and it's two and one. Swings and misses. Two and two. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. And a payoff pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And he walked him. Go ahead, run on base. And the batter now, Ben Wortvet. And Chris, his big strength is defense. But it is interesting, in today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently. Whatever you get offensively is a bonus, but he's got to put the fingers down. He's got to present pitches to the umpire. They're going to help his pitcher get more strikes. Next offering is foul back. The 1-1. Line drive, base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Seems like now he got exactly what he was looking for right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. And that one goes straight to the backstop. Not in time. He's safe. And it's second and third with nobody out. And the runners will move up. Two runners in scoring position. Nobody out. And a foul ball. Next offering is in for a strike. The Red Sox with some bullpen action. Matt Strong, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a three-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on. The pitch. And it's even up. Connor Falefa, the runner at third. Rortvet at second with one away. Next offering is in for a strike. Got him! Back to back strikeouts. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. And he deals. Gallo batting now as that one almost finds the mark. It's a ball. Base hit. One run is in. In there safely. Throw in holds that trail runner at third base. They're at the corners with two away. That ball was blasted, Boog, and 
as broadcasters, we can go weeks without seeing a ball hit 115 miles per hour, which is what StatCast tells us there. Man, he really got the bat through the zone and did not get cheated. Yeah, that ball was absolutely smoked. Here's Stanton now. He had a big swing back in the fourth, a two-run homer, and that helped them get the lead. And what a swing it was, Boot. Poetry in motion. And those are the type that you hardly feel when you connect with the baseball. Just so smooth, a great feeling off the bat. The pitch. Just off the inside edge. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. The 1-0. And fouled off. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Two outs. In there. And so now one and two. Kicks and deals. Base hit and a run into score. Really nice job of two strike hitting and that at that. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Pitching change here, Matt Strong. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and the little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Here's Josh Donaldson. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Not the easiest thing. When you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy, to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. And a pitch. They say it went. That leaves him without a throw, and everyone's safe. The bases are loaded. Now that second base. Labor. Two down now. Labor Torres up to hit. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And a pitch. And there's the strike. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Sliced hard but foul. Base is loaded. Two down. Chases that one out of the zone. Good job of damage control right there. Bottom of the inning, and now the center fielder, Enrique Hernandez. The pitch. Fought off foul. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a base hit. Around first, digging for two. In safely, it's a double and his second hit. Well, oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Here's Rafael Devers. And here it comes. And there's a foul ball. Tying run at the plate. So now one and two. Hernandez stands at second with no outs. Next offering upstairs.
Righty delivers. Stays alive. In the dirt, and the runner stays where he is. 3-2 now. And that one wrapped foul. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, they didn't give him anything to hit, and now with runners on first and second, they've set up a double play opportunity, so not a terrible result. And next for the Red Sox, Xander Bogarts, one for two. comes a pitch and he pumps it a strike big at bat right here with an opportunity to do damage but on the flip side ground ball double play strikeout that could get the inning back under control on the mound and a foul ball and the right hander deals that one to first into the outfield base hit. Now a long throw home. The tag, and he's out. That really hurts right there. This is no time to gamble. When you're down in the ball game, you've got to be sure if you're going to advance a runner or even try to score right there that you're going to be safe. Just a poor decision. And now J.D. Martinez. And a pitch. Swings and misses. Strike one. Right-hander kicks, deals. Pitch misses, and one and one. One out, runners at first and second. And a swing and a miss. To first, maybe a two ball. Rizzo to second, double play as they get out of another jam. And the inning ends. We're through five. The Yankees four, and the Red Sox two. Top six. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Aaron Hicks. The center fielder. This has always been the better side for Aaron Hicks. And he deals. Good eye right there. Boston's bullpen with some activity. Darwin's in Hernandez. The lefty with big swing and miss stuff is getting ready. Brazier getting cranked up as well. And a 1 0. And a strike in there. Check swing, went around, and it's 1 and 2. That's down and in. And now the lefty. And that one missing low. Kicks and fires. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. That's a nice at bat and a great take on 3 2. Probably could have gone either way in that spot around the knees. And now the shortstop, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. He's 0 for 1. The 
the pitch. Bounce to the right side. Fires over to first. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Ben Workvet stepping in now for the Yankees. And he's already singled in this game. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. The next offering misses, and that is ball one. Left hand hitter waits. And a count one and two. And a pitch. And the one two misses to even the count. One out and a runner at second. Next offering is foul back. Man at second. Check swing, tried to hold up. Now an appeal to third. Nope, he held back. Left hand batter waits. Foul ball there. Runner leads away at second. Slapped foul. Got him swinging, and there's two away. Good pitch right there. I mean, he's attacking a location that this guy at the plate tends to have trouble with, and there's just so much information in this day and age, sometimes too much information, but the guys that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter, and get the result that they were anticipating, that's really good pitching right there, and it's a good job of the pitcher and the catcher working together. The lefty, the 1 0. Fouled off. He was late. Nope. Next one misses, and a count 2 and 1. He swings and fouls one off. Here's the 2 2. Popped up right side. Dolbe in position. Puts the squeeze on it. And the inning is over. We go to the bottom half of inning number six. And the 5 6 7 slots do up. The Yankees four. And the Red Sox two. Bottom of the sixth inning. Joe stepping in for Boston. Trevor Story. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed. Quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? And the first pitch misses for ball one. Boog, that hook's looking pretty sharp today. Just a solid pitching performance so far, and I really think it's because of that curveball. Out to short. Connor Falefa handles the chance. Throw, save! And that was close. 
Singy, that was a close play. And it looks like they're considering... Well, they are going to challenge the call. And so now the decision will be made by the umpires at the replay center back in New York. Another look at it. Singy, are you seeing enough to change the call? Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, it's close, but I think after looking at it a few times... Looks like we've got an answer, and he's out. They took a chance with the challenge, and it paid off for it. So up next, Alex Verdugo. Good contact guy, good defender. A wind and a pitch. And that one a little bit high. And a foul ball, third base side. That one the other way. Base hit. Now batting, first baseman, Bobby. And here's the first baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. The pitch. Outside corner for a strike. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take. And... There's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. So here's Christian Vasquez. And that's in there for strike one. Verdugo off of first with two away. That's a hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. The right fielder, number 19. And now the right fielder, Bradley. Jackie Bradley Jr. And time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game, so they'll talk it over. And here comes the Yankees manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Garrett Cole is done in this one. And as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. So they turn to the veteran pitcher in this 